Hello, Rocket Beans community. I heard there are a lot of The Witcher fans among you. I hope you like the new season. Have fun with the interview with Anya, Freya, and Joey. So we are on the third season already. How did it feel to come back on set and see everyone again? Oh, it was joyful. Yeah. So joyful. There mm. were, I think, um, often when you're in the, in the pen, of all the trailers and everything, you don't, you never know who's on set that day, mm. and sometimes you get little surprises. And I, I think I ran to both of you at various yeah. different points and hugged you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who of you rehearses until the last minute, and who ad libs the most? Ad libber. Ad libber. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Of I'm saying yeah. nothing. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm giving you that title. You're, you're a huge prepper. I'm a prepper. You. And I am somewhere. You're in the 80%. Middle. I, you are not a prepper. I like prep. But I, I know. I, sorry. I like to keep it. I like Fresh. to keep myself guessing. Mm. I don't want to know what the other person's doing. I want to get into the scene and like them, like just work with like what that person's giving what, what, how I'm responding to that. I don't want to preempt anything. I, li I like keeping it as fresh as possible. Yeah. Learn everything pretty last minute. It's not all about rehearsing. You also have to train physically. Can you tell me about your training? Um, was it as hard as the obstacle course in Camoran? Yeah, I mean, the obstacle course just felt like an amazing go ape or something like that. It's just <laughs> yeah. so much so fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Yeah, it's, it's obviously like got its challenges because um, especially as the choreography gets more complex and we're adding in, um, making it more dynamic and adding in a lot of what Geralt's style is into it. And, mm. um, and so it gets more and more um, challenging, but I love that. I'm like Siri, I just want it to, you know, be, be as challenging <laughs> and as perfect as yeah. possible. And like, so I, I love it. This season, Siri also gets to uh, learn to control her magic. And who teaches you the magical gest gestures, or do you come up with them yourself? Well, um, this season we had more magic, and I think we fought for that because I feel like there's been there's so much fighting, <laughs> and I, I don't get to do that. So I just wanted more to do, and um, I think we chose to just have more specific gestures for each character to make it more exciting and personal and I worked hard with the stunt team and um, Wolfie to, to properly bring that to life um, and um, yeah we had a lot of Indian dance gestures in because that is, is something I knew quite well and those hand gestures are, are um, very specific to Indian dancing and and would really lend itself well, I thought, to specific magic gestures. So mm. why not? And I think it's elevated um, Yennefer's magic yeah. this season. Talking about fighting, um, what's the challenge in fighting CGI monsters that are not there yet? Just yeah, hurt well, more stunt people. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, it's interesting because I remember, like, you, it's it's all varied. You'll do a take where you do it where um, with people, you know, holding kind of green thing, like what do you call them? Like art, oh, like uh, swimming. They're like floaties, aren't they? Yeah, like floaties, yeah. right? Um, cool noodles. Yes, yeah, noodles, yeah, exactly. Yeah, noodles. So you'll do a take doing that, and then you'll also do it without anything. So just fighting against air. And I remember strangely thinking, God, that's not sure how I felt about that. But then, I, in a, in a way. I preferred it, mm -hmm. like having nothing and just going in so and like brilliant. having the space to do the, the I'm doing them now. Yeah. But to do <laughs> Seeing the moves. it in your mind's yeah, eye yeah, yeah. and like, yeah. I liked it. Yaskia's the one doing the least fighting. I don't know about that. You don't, you don't know. <laughs> you don't see what he's doing off screen. <laughs> one hit wonder in the first season to pop star in season two. He seems to struggle a bit in season mm. three, but will he have a comeback? Will he have a comeback? Like a comeback single, maybe. Uh, I mean, we're getting a bit sort of meta here. I think he, um, I think his priorities have changed. You know, in season one, he he did want to be the um, the continent's uh, Taylor Swift, and <laughs> and in by the time he got to season two, it became a lot more emotionally vulnerable and open, and he wanted to explore uh, his own fragility. 
Uh, and then by season three, it's almost like some of the songwriting and, and the, the poetry, it's not that it's been thrown to the wayside, it's more that it's become a lot more about current events and the world in which he's living, as well as his found family. Um, and with the song Ride, Which a Ride, which is a sort of small subversion of Burn from season two, um, we've kind of see, we started with someone who was, you know, flirtatious, quite charismatic, who entered into vulnerable, and then it's now kind of emerging with something that's actually quite triumphant and hopeful. And that for me, that arc um, has, has defined my, my characterization of him thus far. We talked about stunt coordinators, but I also read you had intimacy coordinator. Did you have one for this season as well? And why does it help to have one? Yeah, we did. We, uh, I think it's very important to have one. We didn't have one in season one, and I think it's, been the perfect way to um, navigate those scenes, those more intimate scenes Sorry. where the lines often blur between you and your character because um, they're intimate. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think it's important to have a point of call. I mean, we all, resp all respond differently to choreography in, you know, when you're, I suppose, want to be at your most freest. <laughs> um, but it's, it's always good to have someone to go to and someone to, I suppose, run, run, a room, you know, for that for that specific element, because there's so many, you know, everyone's got a different job on set, and um, you know, it's good to have someone oversee all that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you have like a favorite memory from shooting this season? I, 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 my memory was getting to like really um, feel like a team with the crew out in Morocco because we were dealing with a lot of harsh conditions, and just yeah. having them was. A, Honestly, amazing. Like, I love any moment you get to bond with the crew. Harsh think... conditions is such like an understatement. Yeah, 46 degrees. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, Sandstorms. Yeah. No, yeah, but no, I just like when you get to like feel the com... I think my favourite thing, one of my favourite things is feeling the camaraderie with the crew mm -hmm. and the cast. Like, I think that's just really nice to have mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I loved learning new things, ice skating for one. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, um, Freya and I, trained hard for that, and it might not show, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Um, I trained so freaking You're hard. Very we both elegant. did. No, yeah. no, 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 no. No, actually, you. <laughs> I'm you, trying to be you nice. Really I did. Think you look we great. really were awful. <laughs> I was supposed to be bad, so it was easy. The scene where you fell on the ice was it real? real? It was real. <laughs> it was real. It was real. So Henry's response to that in character. Yeah. He <laughs> laughed. Yeah. He laughed as Geralt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the beginning of the interview, I asked about your first day on set. How was your last day of shooting? How was the, How did it feel to see Henry as the Witcher for the last time? We didn't know. It. We didn't know that it was going to be his last time. Um, so we were just leaving to yeah. wrap another season, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See you next week. But it was uh, exhaust. I mean, we were by the end. I think you know, chatting to each other, we were, we were ready to you know wrap it up. It just been a very long journey, this one, for season three, and we'd all worked really hard. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for your you. questions. <laughs>